Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over two different portable solar panels that Renergy offers. One is the monocrystalline and one is the fiberglass. <laughs> This is the Renogy 220 watt portable folding solar suitcase. And I've been testing it out for the last two months. And I've also been comparing it to the Renogy 200 watt monocrystalline folding solar suitcase. But there are some differences between the two. So one might be better for you depending on how you use them. This panel is quite different from your standard monocrystalline panel because it is a fiberglass reinforced panel with an ETFE coating. Whereas the 200 watt folding solar panel is a monocrystalline panel, which is like your typical rigid solar panel. I have three of them actually installed on the roof here, the 175 watt Renergy models, and they have performed awesome over the past three years. Both solar panels come with a case the fiberglass ones come with more of a soft cover with a pouch on the front here where you can store cords or cables unzip take the cover off here so these are the solar panels themselves there's a nice grab handle this is what makes it a solar suitcase and then the panels also magnetize together which is really nice so when you're folding it up or taking it apart it's really simple and fast there are two versions of the 220 watt solar suitcase online one comes with a solar controller and one doesn't this is the one that doesn't come with one and i'm able to easily hook this up to my portable power station using the mc4 connectors but you will need some type of solar controller when you're purchasing any solar panel be sure to use the discount code made to travel if you're purchasing anything from energy including these solar panels because you'll get an extra discount when you go to check out this is the case for the 200 watt monocrystalline folding solar suitcase and you can tell the case is much sturdier it's kind of like a semi-hard case zips on either side and then you can open it up this panel is much bigger because it's only two panels whereas the 220 watt version is four panels that you're going to fold out there are two clamps on either side here that you simply unclip and then the whole panel flips out and the wiring is a little bit different as well so instead of running in between the solar panels through the frame the wiring simply just like runs through the back but it also has these MC4 connectors. And then same thing as the other solar panel, the frame is much thicker, much sturdier, but it's still made out of the same aluminum alloy. And then it has these corner guards on each corner. It also has these adjustable legs, which are super easy to adjust depending on the angle of the sun. All in all, this panel is gonna be able to withstand harsher weather environments for sure, just because of its weight and its stability. This model also comes with a 20 amp solar voyager mppt controller on the back here which has a little velcro that it mounts to it has alligator clamps so you can clip these onto your battery super easily and it has a 15 amp fuse built into the cable so if you don't already have a solar controller which would be required for the fiberglass model this is a great option this model also comes in 100 watts if 200 watts is a little too much for you. You can see the ETFE coating on here, like it isn't like the glass on the monocrystalline, but both of them have the same water resistance rating of IP67. Now, this is one of the huge differences between the two. This is what holds these solar panels up. So it's just a simple little kickstand. These are not adjustable, whereas the other solar panel is adjustable, but these are designed to be super lightweight and portable. Both panels come with aluminum alloy frames, which are really nice and lightweight. You don't have to worry about it rusting. They also come with these corner guards here, so you don't have to worry about the sharp corners like lots of other solar panels. These panels also have the wiring exposed on the side here. It has been a huge concern for some people, but Renogy has tested this and these panels can open and close 3000 times. Also, if you ever have to service this and feed new wires through this, it's really easy to do the way they've set it up inside. When it comes to cell efficiency, these fiberglass panels are gonna give you 22.7% efficiency, whereas the monocrystalline is gonna come in at 22.5, so very close on efficiency levels. I've been quite impressed about the performance of these over the past two months of testing. As far as a workmanship warranty, this panel is gonna be five years, where the monocrystalline panel is only gonna be three years, but when it comes to performance warranty, this panel is gonna have a 10 year performance warranty, whereas the monocrystalline is gonna have a 25 year warranty. Now, Renogy guarantees that 25 year warranty at 80% output. When it comes to weight, the fiberglass model weighs only 16 pounds. The monocrystalline 200 watt model 
weighs 34.4 pounds, so almost double the weight. When it comes to price between the two, the fiberglass one is gonna be $335 right now on Renogy, and the monocrystalline is gonna be $320. So pretty close price comparisons. That is a sale price. Now, the biggest difference when comparing these two solar panels that you need to consider when you're choosing one is how much you're gonna use it and how portable do you need the panel to be? Because when it comes to the fiberglass ones, they are way more portable. They're smaller, they're lighter. There is the concern about being the fiberglass with the ETFE coating. These panels have been known to not last as long as the monocrystalline ones. If you're only temporarily using this, maybe having it set up when you need a little extra power, it's the perfect panel. But if you have a more permanent setup where you are gonna be spending a lot of time in one location and leaving your panels out, I would probably recommend going with the monocrystalline ones because they are a little bit heavier but they have been known to last a long time. These flexible ones just haven't been proven to last as long. Another big perk with the 200 watt folding solar suitcase by Renogy is the fact that it does have adjustable legs so you can tilt it to whatever degree you want during the day to get as much sunlight as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions regarding either of these panels, feel free to let me know down in the comments. If you found this video useful, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.